Let's see if there's anywhere I can charge my phone. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, you scared me. Oh, wow. Sorry, I I had no idea someone was in here. I'm so sorry. I was just um I was just looking for somewhere to charge my phone. Yeah. And take a breather from everything going on downstairs. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll find another room. Wait. This is your room? Oh. Really? I had no idea that you and Bree were roommates. How did I not know that? <laughs> so why aren't you down at the party? Huh. Not your scene, huh? Yeah. I don't blame you. <laughs> Everyone's being loud and annoying and... I just really don't feel like doing all that tonight. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. It must be a lot living with Brie. <laughs> I mean, she's my friend, obviously, but I would really hate having a roommate who throws parties all the time. I hope you have a good pair of noise-canceling headphones for nights like this. So, you don't mind if I keep you company for a little while? At least until they come looking for me? <laughs> huh? Why does that surprise you? Oh, just because I hang out with the popular crowd doesn't mean I like partying all the time. <laughs> and for your information, I actually prefer to stay in. I do. <laughs> I would much rather stay in and read a book or cuddle on the couch and watch a movie or something. Having to get all dressed up, and wrangle all of our friends. It's just a lot. Also, I'm tired of taking care of all my friends when they drink too much. <laughs> yeah. And then, I don't know, being the center of attention. Nope. Definitely not for me. <laughs> Can I sit on your bed? Ooh, that's comfy. Yeah, no, exactly. It's super draining. Going to, like, parties and stuff like this. Yeah, and it's just hard to socialize when everyone is, I don't know, yelling and drinking and dancing and I just do so much better with like one-on-one -on -one conversations you know like sitting down getting to know someone personally like this <laughs> kind of <laughs> so your room is um it's really nice Yeah, I um I like that print a lot. Where'd you get that? Oh, cool. I've been meaning to go there forever. Yeah, I'll have to go sometime. <laughs> Brie could um really use a few decorating tips from you. <laughs> oh my gosh, is that? I have that book. Yeah, have you read it? Oh, yeah, it's so good. I No, I've read the whole series. <laughs> Don't act so surprised that I read. I'm actually a really big reader. Mm-hmm. Yeah, every year I try to challenge myself to read more than I did the year before. This year, my goal is 25 books. I'm on 18, I think. No, 19. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have anyone to talk to about stuff like that. You know, my friends don't really know that about me. 
Um, I don't know. I just feel like they wouldn't get it. You know, they don't really... I can't really talk to them about that sort of stuff. Intellectual stuff, yeah. Like, I really love art, and books, and film, and um, stuff like that. They just don't do a lot outside of um, <laughs> partying <laughs> like this. Um, it's just easier to keep that part of me to myself, you know? But now that I have someone I can talk to... <laughs> yes, I'm talking about you. <laughs> have you been to that bookstore down on, um, what is it? I think it's on West Ave. Oh my god, it's huge. Yeah, it's like the coolest bookstore I've ever been to. We should go sometime. Yes, you and me. Who else? <laughs> I mean, I knew you were cool since we were in that Russian literature class together last semester. Yeah, I <laughs> I think you're cool. What's What's wrong with that? You've never been called cool before? Oh, come on. That's Really? Well, it's true, okay? I think you're cool. Your project in that class, it was like, it blew me away. And you know, most people's final projects were so half-assed, but yours was really good. I could tell, like, you cared so much about it and you were so interested in your topic. I'm not just saying that. I actually wanted to tell you that after class, but... I just, I don't know, I I guess I was embarrassed or something. And now I just, I don't really see you around that much anymore. Are you blushing? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to embarrass you or anything. <laughs> but it's pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you get flustered easily. Yeah, a little bit. You look nervous. <laughs> Relax, it's okay. I like hanging out with you. You don't have to feel like, I don't know, like I'm unapproachable or something. I just mean, I think a lot of people have the wrong idea about me. Mm. They think that I'm this popular party girl who only hangs out with jocks or whatever, you know, but that's just stereotyping me. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I love to read. I'd way rather stay in than go out. I'm not really like the rest of them. <laughs> That's a good question. Why do I hang out with them if they're so different? I don't know. I guess that's something I need to do a little digging on. <laughs> I guess sometimes I feel like no one really knows the real me because they assume that I'm just like all of my friends. Like the people that I hang out with define me as a person or something. Ugh, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. I guess I'm just feeling <sighs> introspective tonight or something. You're a really good listener, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah? You know what that feeling's like, too? Having people assume what you're like without actually getting to know you? Well then, tell me about you. The real you. I want to know something that 
No one else knows about you. Oh, come on. You can think of something. Hey, I've got all night. <laughs> I'm pretty much stuck here until my friends want to go home, so... You don't have to tell me, like, some big life secret or something. I just... Just tell me something. You have a crush on someone. <laughs> okay, well now you have to tell me who it is. No? Of what? You don't trust me? Come on. Come on, I told you stuff about me. Please. I promise your secret is safe with me. Scout's on it. I won't tell anyone. Okay, okay, well, how about this? You don't have to tell me who it is, but just tell me, do they go to our school? She does. Okay. Is she in our major? Yes? Oh my god, okay. That really narrows it down. <laughs> um... Is she here tonight? <gasps> she is? Oh my god. Oh my god, you have to talk to her. Because. Because you just do. You, you just, you have to talk to her. I mean, have you ever? Yeah, so she knows who you are. Yeah. But she doesn't know. She, but she doesn't know you have a crush on her. I'm like going through my head trying to figure out who it could be. <laughs> but I'm sorry, I won't push you, you know. I know we just started hanging out. <laughs> I just really like um I don't know, the start of relationships. Oh, no, I'm not saying you're going to start dating this girl, but you know, you never know. Like Like, think how romantic it could be. You talk to her at this party at your house. And you get to know her. And then you'll forever have this, like, cute story about the first night you met. Or, or I guess you said she already knows you. The first night you, like, expressed interest in her. <laughs> Well, coming from someone who knows what it's like to hide themselves away, I think you should go for it. I think no more standing in the shadows. Tell her how you feel. You might be surprised at her reaction, you know? <laughs> yeah. And if you need a wing woman, girl, I got you. <laughs> yes, I can help you. Whatever you need, <laughs> I can go talk to her, get the temperature, you know, and um, I could like ask her what she thinks about you. What do you mean? Why can't I do that? What are you saying? She's... <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. <laughs> well, <laughs> now you've got me blushing. <laughs> Well, I already said my piece. Um, I think you're cool. And I'd love to get to know you more. 
so I don't know maybe we start by locking your door just you know so that no one can interrupt us while we get to know each other. 